everybody. It is the Thursday, the 21st of June. Yay. You happy? Mm -hmm. So as it's Thursday, it's Slim and World Day. I've actually just been to Slim and World. We had a really busy morning. I just literally haven't had a chance to pick up um, and film. Um, literally just been rushing around everywhere. So I've been in to get weird. And as it... <laughs> yeah, we can see you. Clever boy. And as you can probably tell by my face, I have had a loss. Another pound and a half offset. Three and a half pound in the past two weeks. So, yes. On the downside of that, whilst I was sitting... Yes, Freddy. Oh, yeah, we can see you. On the downside, whilst I was sitting in Slimming World, I started to get a bit of a pain in my mouth. And I've just actually had a look. And I think you've dropped your teddy bear. It's there under your arm. Diddy's on other arm. Other arm. Diddy's there. You silly Billy. <gasps> so I've just actually had a lump and I've got it. Um, a lump about the size of a pea in my mouth. And in the past sort of five, ten minutes, I'm starting to get a lot of pain down here as well. So I've just actually spoken with um, the dentists and they reckon that I've got an abscess. Oh my God. Like, do you know what it is? A few years ago, I was going away on a trip to Blackpool for a cheerleading competition where I was actually competing as well. And the day before I went there, I got an abscess. So I'm like, oh, goodness me. So luckily, they've actually fitted me in. And in an hour and 45 minutes, I'm actually going for an appointment there. So I'm going to go and quickly get a few things um, in Tesco's, I think. Um, and then make my way. Um, but I thought you wanted apple juice. Yeah. So we're going to go and get that. Um, obviously quite excited because Jason is at home today, tonight. Not until late on, but he's coming home and then we're off on our travels tomorrow. Um I've just had to buy another um, tanning mitt as well. Last night, I went and just chucked it into the sink downstairs ready to wash. And when I got up this morning, I picked it up and part of it was just disintegrating. Then I remembered I'd put bleach in the sink last night neat bleach. So the bleach had just literally melted the mitt. What's the matter? March. March. What's that? March. <laughs> He's being silly, aren't you? So, I've just had to buy a new mitt this morning. You are so noisy today. Maybe he's just as excited as I am. So, going to get a few things done. Then we're going to go to the dentist. Are you excited? Go to the dentist. Mummy, sit in the big chair. Oh, and luckily somebody next to us is just about to move the car, which means that reversing out will be so much easier. Oh, and the other person on the other side as well. So, going to get these things done. I can't believe, like, I've got loads to sort out. Well, I feel like I've got loads to sort out. And then I've got, I've got an abscess as well. I mean, oh my goodness, mate. Freddie, what are you doing? <laughs> you look amazing. <laughs> right, so let's crack on and get this day underway. Hey, everybody. What a day. <laughs> yeah. So we ended up in a little bit of a rush before we came out because... Um, well, I don't want to mention too much about the potty, but we had to sort out an incident, shall we say, which resulted in a little bit of cleaning being done. So, as you can tell, I've had an injection and I can't talk properly. I've been to the dentist, yeah. Had to take Freddy with me as well. Guys, I feel like I'm drooling all over the place. So, I've got an abscess, um, which is fair enough. I can deal with that. So he's given me some antibiotics, but he says I don't really need to take the antibiotics unless the swelling's getting worse, the pain's getting worse. So in view of the fact that I'm going away tomorrow, I'm going to have to get the prescription. And you, oh my God, guys, this is awful. I can't talk properly. So then, while we're there, he went, oh, have you been getting any pain in this side? And I was like, well, no, not really. And he went, oh, because some of your fillings, like, come away. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to get all of that out. So I'm going to give you an injection, dig it out. Then I'm going to put a temporary fill in. And I was just like, whoa, hang on. Oh, my God. So I'm totally numb. Like, I'm even my ears numb. I'm numb all the way along here. All the way. Oh, oh my God. It's ridiculous. There's no way I'm going to manage an afternoon cup by this afternoon. Um. So, yeah. Oh, this is horrible. So. Uh, so. 
just love that bad. <laughs> I kind of feel like I've had fillers in my lips though, because they just want to go mm, all day. Right, so I'm gonna now spend the rest of the afternoon trying not to drool everywhere. Oh yeah, and on the way out of the house as well, I dropped me car keys in the big green wheelie bin. I mean, how are you guys? Like, what? What a day. I can't wait for this weekend. So, I need to go, I need to get a little mini deodorant, um, like a small one, and probably a couple of other bits and pieces. So, I think we're just going to head to the shops for a little bit. Um, Yeah. <laughs> I think I might just go with Tesco's and see if I can get it there. I don't really want to be troops and round shields. So I think I'm going to go with Tesco's, get a few bits, and then go home and feel sorry for myself. I've got like a proper mark on my nose as well. Oh my God, they don't tell you that. Big mark off where the, the glasses have been. Can you say it? What a day. What? Uh, 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 uh. Right, okay. Catch up with you guys in a bit. So Freddie's insisting on pushing the trolley. So this is taking a while, isn't it? So what we got for we shopping then? No, this way. What we got for we shopping? <laughs> Come on. Uh oh. You coming to get me? You're gonna crash. You're gonna crash. Oh, you're right. Hey, very good. So I'm currently just wandering around Tesco's waiting for the prescription to be ready. And I feel like everybody's watching us. What's the matter? Oh, well, you can't have that. You found something on the floor. It doesn't matter. Just leave it. Come on. Oh, my God. Yeah, so I'm just going to head up and pick up a prescription up. Then, oh my god, <laughs> so weird. Then, I'm going to go home and chill for a bit and get a bit of housework done. Now, Freddy's run away. It's alright, I'm still here. I'm always still here. But our grand tour of our shopping is a pizza, sweetie jelly for Freddy, because he's been so good in the dentist for that way. Pick this up. Yeah, because it's only two fifty. I've had to get a men's Jordan because they don't do a tiny one in the women's and a packet of Freddy's Zoo biscuits because I couldn't get them online. Do you want to take a look at it? Well, stop shouting at us. There you go. I have a boy, right? So I'm going to go get my prescription, then I'm going to go to the till and then I'm going home. You got Freddy? Red. Tasters. Oh, Madeline will be so sad because Madeline loves the tasters. Wow. Is that a cheesy one? Oh, no, thank you. I'll hold it for you. I'm not eating it. Cool. Let's go up the till, darling. Honestly, guys, the madness of today just continues. This is just like making going away tomorrow and over the weekend just even more like special and deserved. Um, I nearly left my card in Tesco's. Um, a woman had come running after us from the tills. Um, <laughs> um, I got back here. And um, I said, like, oh yeah, I'm going to make a cup. And then I was like, I can't have a cup. Because I've obviously just been the dentist. And I was like, nah, no, I need a cup. So, check this out. Yeah. Problem solved. So me and Freddie are just taking some time now just to have a little chill out. It's been a busy all day, hasn't it, Freddie? So we are just having a little relax on the sofa. You okay, Freddie? Yeah. Are you good? How's your pizza? Do you even like it? Do you like it? Mm. Does it taste nice? It tastes lovely. Oh, lovely you, Yeah, so... I <laughs> just and I had so many little jobs I need to do this afternoon. So yeah. Oh, it's still so 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 numb. <laughs> so I've had my I've put one load of washing on the clothes so it's God guys I'm already speak that I literally can't feel any of that. Ow. Oh, I've just clicked something, that was good. Oh. <laughs> How's your pizza? Is it nice? Does it taste nice? 
I need a job then. I don't think he likes it. Do you not like it, darling? I don't think he likes it. Yeah, I like it. Oh, you do like it. Well, you're going to eat it then. And he's managed to steal. What have you stolen out my washing? He's stolen a pair of his own pyjama bottoms. Because Freddie has a little obsession with wet washing. So, yeah. What a day. So it looks like my Converse are now just about dry. Look how nice and clean they are. I've got two pairs of Converse. I'm just going to show you the state of my other one against the ones that I've just washed. Because basically they were pretty much the same colour before. Ta-da! Look at the difference, guys. Isn't that good? Yep. Yeah, so I'm happy with them. I know I'm mental. I'm going to a big part of the world, should we say. I nearly told you there. That was close. And I'm wearing these lovely white trainers for travelling. But, you know, you've got to have your nice white trainers on for travelling. You've got to look your best, haven't you? So, we are back from the school run. Take two. Because I got back from the school run and realised that I was supposed to go to my mum. Hi. 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 There he is. Boo. I realised, well, I remembered, sorry, that I was supposed to go to my mum's and pick something up. So I was like, oh no, I had to come all the way back here and get my house keys for my mum's because she is coming at work. So I went and did that. But before I went, I actually put the chicken for tea in the oven and that seems to be cooking lovely. Just got some chicken. Well, it's not diced, they're more like chunks, aren't they? So I just hide them. I actually put them in the oven and grabbed my car keys for my mum's. And then went. So I thought I'm kind of killing a bit of time by doing that because it meant that when we got back here, it means that the chicken is nearly cooked. It is actually cooked. So I'm just going to keep that in the oven for about another five minutes just to make sure. Just turn that down a bit, stick that back in. What are you playing with, darling? Pegs. Pegs? Oh, yeah. You see all those things in the corner? And Freddie playing with the pigs. Well, right, so that's cool. Right, we'll give that another five minutes just just to make sure. Just turn it down a bit. Right, so I am doing chicken curry with rice for tea. Freddie's clearly very happy about that. Just getting the kettle boiled now. <coughs> oh my god. As you can see, I can talk a bit better now. Yay! <laughs> just a bit, it's not perfect, but you know. <coughs> I've had a right old stressful afternoon, I must say. See, now this is the point when you get the curry sauce out and you realise that you haven't got as much as you would like. Let's have a look. Oh, you are joking me. You are joking me. Yes, buddy. Oh, my God. Oh, that's, that's gravy. What, darling? That's gravy. Oh no! Oh, no. oh man! Well, that's a bit of a um, bummer, shall we say? Find that. I've got literally that. Let's get the scales out and have a look. Oh my god! See guys, it's this. I'm gonna put you there in a minute. See me? All right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's have a look. It might end up having to be like a curry dipping sauce or something. Oh my goodness me! Right. Okay. Grand total is. 16 grams. I need about 85 grams of that to make what I'm going to make. So, right, I am going to have to be clever, creative. Vandaloo. Vandaloo. It's a lime and tequila normally. Mm. Mm. I didn't even know I had that. Oops, sorry, guys. <laughs> right. So, See, I should have totally checked this before I went there. I'm gonna have him. 
So, oh my god, I'm trying to fix this new phone cover. He's singing Vindaloo, you know, that's Freddie's version of Vindaloo. Vindaloo. Right, let's see what I've got up here tonight. Vindaloo. Right, I've got loads of herbs and spices on here. What are you doing? That's from lunchtime now. Are you pinching it, are you? Well, run then. Run. He's gone. Right. What have I got here? Can I make some sort of sauce? I'm going to have to turn that radio down. Two seconds. There is a very good reason because I keep music on my videos. Well, start talking about copyright. That's not what we're on right now. Right, okay. Have I got some sort of mix for heater? What's this one down here? Let me have a look. Tikka curry spice blend. Right. Olive oil, Greek yogurt. I've got a jungle. Jungle yogurt, strawberry. I don't think that's going to work, is it? What am I going to do? Right, well it looks like we can't have curry, but I'm just going to have to give everybody like a dipping pot of curry as opposed to loads of curry. I'll see what I can sort out. There we go. Basically, I used the curry uh, paste that I had. That's Freddy's looks a little bit uh, all mushed up, but it's good. Used the curry paste that I had, added in some curry powder, some tikka powder, some chicken stock, and just turned it up high, and I don't think I've done too bad. Here we go, dinner. Yay! Right. Wee. Wee. Where's your spoon? Oh, it's on that table. Oh, well, Is it there? Yeah. Does that look good, Freddy? Freddy spoon. Hey, look. Yep. Oh, we move your table, eh? oh, yes, and put your bib on as well. Freddy, <laughs> did you like your chicken curry? Are you having more? And Madeline's having more. <laughs> and I'm having more. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. See, not so bad for a dish that I just had to cobble together. <laughs> Freddy, how much do you love Mana? Many, many more. Oh. oh, Madeline, how sweet's that? <laughs> Bye. Pardon? Bye, buddy. See you all tomorrow. so I am getting pretty excited for tomorrow um, I'm sorry my hair looks quite big at the minute I um, thought I'd put plenty of body in tonight because um, I won't be washing my hair again in the morning so I thought let's put plenty of body in tonight and then hopefully it won't be totally flat in the morning I feel a bit like a bit of a lion to be honest <laughs> So um, I got the Tesco shopping order tonight that arrived a little earlier um, but since the few hours since I last um, vlogged on here, um, me and Madeline have both topped up with tans again. Um, she's got a dance show at the weekend as well. Um, we've packed all of her things um, and well, I'm just about going to spend a little bit of time with her downstairs before she heads up to bed. Um, and then I can do the last few bits of my packing. Um, spoke to Jason he will be on route home shortly so that is so cool I'm so excited to see him so yeah I'm just gonna put a few things away downstairs and I'll catch up in a bit so I've just come downstairs and Madeline says that I can have some of her chocolate Ew. how nice is it? yes you do you just said how cruel now it just seems like I'm stealing your chocolate well, it's not just have some oh thank you why well, we look all wrapped up and cozy you know it's really cold tonight you're it's cold not just, it's not just me it's not cold at all it I'm is. pretty warm in these pajamas I'm freezing <laughs> so you're all turned up mm -hmm. what else have you been doing tonight ready for Saturday um I've been packing all my stuff and I've been making sure that um, everything's okay. Okay. What else? Hmm? What else have you been doing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you packed the most important thing. Sweets. The sweets, yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah, my yeah. yeah. 
So why are you taking my ones with you? Because they're the best. <laughs> that was so nice to spend a little bit of time with Madeline. Quality time um, ahead of the weekend because I'm not going to see her very much now until Sunday. Bless her. Um, so I've been so busy tonight. Also, I've just realised that I'm no longer numb. I've been a little bit tender. Um, the lump doesn't seem to have got on any bigger fingers crossed. So I'm just going to take the antibiotics with me and hope for the best that I don't have to start taking them because I want to enjoy the weekend to its fullest. Um, so I'm just going to catch up with a couple of jobs before I head upstairs and just do the rest of my packing. Um, put in the clothes that I didn't want to put any earlier. Um, I've also just got some chicken cooking in the oven um, so that I can make me and Jason some nice sandwiches um to take with us tomorrow um very excited i must say as well i'm feeling a little bit better i was feeling a bit weird after the injection earlier and just in general today i've sort of just been feeling oh my goodness oh god not something else not something else oh no not something else um so it's quite nice i feel much better now and that shower was just what i needed as well um also I've put a darker colour tan on. You know, we'll have to wait and see in the morning when it develops what I'm actually going to look like. So you may be watching the vlog tomorrow thinking, well, Saturdays it'll be, thinking, who needs that? You never know. <laughs> we'll see anyway. <laughs> Can you imagine? Um, so yeah, early start tomorrow. Not too early. Um, but early start. I suppose I'll be up early with Freddie anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do my couple of jobs. I might quickly squeeze in um, a vlog before I go and get on with the rest of my packing. <laughs> I've just finished preparing this. Just cooked off loads of chicken and loads of bacon. Um, and I've got some tiger rolls, so they're like the the soft version of the like the crusty tiger bread that you get. And I'm going to make some lovely chicken, bacon and mayo sandwiches for me and Jason for tomorrow. Um, which I'm very looking forward to because I love a bit of chicken and bacon and mayo. Um, so I'm just waiting for that to cool uh, before I can pop it in the fridge. And then I'll just mix it up with the mayo in the morning and pop it into the bread buns. Oh my god, they are so soft. They've been in the freezer, frozen, and then all I do... That's a little tip for you guys actually. If you do freeze bread, when you get it out, um, sometimes you need to frost it. Some of this can be a bit hard and stuff. I just find wrapping each bun or slice um, in a piece of kitchen roll seems to work wonders. I don't know why it works. I read it somewhere online or something like that. It's not my um, tip. I read it somewhere online. Um, and yeah, does the job. Um, so I've just finished cleaning up the kitchen, um, but I have actually left a few dishes in the sink because I've just splashed my fake down. So I'm going to just go and quickly put a little bit extra on just on that patch so I'm not washed any more dishes. I should have just, I should have just took my sleeves and the rubber gloves, I don't know why I didn't do that. How silly is that? So I'm just going to head upstairs um, and just get my suitcase out. I think I'm actually going to swap into a smaller suitcase because I haven't got as much stuff as I thought I was going to be taking. So I've just popped a few more things in and that's about all I can pack for tonight. So that's our little suitcase all ready to go. Um, just got my list still on the top there and then it's ready just for Jason's few last bits. My makeup bag, my brush, any few bits and pieces. Um that I couldn't put in tonight. I'm going to get myself a cuppa and have a little bit of a chill before I go to bed. Feeling very excited. Um, can't wait for tomorrow. So I'm just going to say good night, sweet dreams, and I'll see everybody tomorrow.